are you talking about? Let me out! It's only for a few days. Are you completely insane? I'm warning you, if you don't let me out now, I'm calling the police. Well, you have a hard job without your phone. You've taken my phone! Are you bonkers? What are you doing? The best we can. I'm sorry, David. I hope you'll forgive me one day. Go upstairs, I'll deal with it. No, 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 Mom! Mom, don't leave me down here, Mom! Mom! Why couldn't you have showed up last week like you promised? Oh, yeah, I know. I wanted to, Dad. I've let Si down too often, I know that. Wow. At least you're here now. Yeah. The only pity is, I won't be. Are oh, you off somewhere? Finally taking that tour around Europe I've been promising myself, starting with Italy. Yeah. <laughs> Don't blame me, Sally, surprise. I've been talking about it for a while. Oh, yeah, well, the Christians were still playing the Colosseum. Thanks. That looks rather nasty. Oh, yeah, well, tell me about it. They call booms for a reason. Hell of a crack. Mind you, that's the risk you run when you take out novice crews, I suppose. There we go. Thanks, babe. That's lovely. Don't mention it. Oh, you didn't, did you? Sorry, I was... Uh... Miles away, yeah, I'd noticed. Reckon the Proclaimers had struggled to reach you. Mm. Oh, me and Andy used to do the Proclaimers. Just put these silly glasses on. Hope he's all right. Oh, just come in, Trace. When were you going to tell me about Jim? How do you know? Never mind that. Is it true? All right, just calm down. Oi, put out, because this is nothing to do with you. Is my daughter in danger? Our daughter? <sighs> Call yourself a father after this. Look, we didn't want to worry her unnecessarily, or you. What kind of man are you? What kind of father? Uh, what kind of mother are you? Carrying his child and letting him get away with it. Yeah, I know all about it. Do you know, Steve, any man worth his salt would have taken that test taken and saved test. everybody all... What? I've taken the test. I'll get the results in a couple of weeks. Right. I see. Are you all right? It is fine. So if you don't mind, we'd like to eat our tea. And can you please try not to tell anybody about the baby? Mm, I suppose so. But, Steve, please, will you keep me in the loop from now on? Mm. I mean, Loop, I want to keep her and it's made a rope. Mm. She's right to be upset. Who's flipping told her? I don't know. God. Hey, hey, hey! Hey! Somebody gonna hurt yourself. What do you care? Of course you care. Because you care, what do you think we're doing this? Well, I haven't got the faintest idea and you don't see me want to tell me. I don't need to. You know already. All I know is one minute we're having a family dinner and the next you're keeping me prisoner in your cellar. What were you afraid we're going to give you a bad review on TripAdvisor? We know you're planning to kill Clayton. Kill Clayton? Where the hell did you get that from? It was suicide video you left for the kids. We're not going to let you throw your life away. What are they doing down there, treading the grapes? Mm, David got a bit emotional. Because of the trial? Yeah. yeah. It um, brings it all back. Yeah. Not that it's ever very far away. Um, Nick's giving him a pep talk. Yeah, well, now, we've all got to rally around and make sure that he can get through it, right? Definitely. Mm. Well, we are trying. Yeah. Do you know, in the circumstances, I think we should all finish up and leave them to it. Yeah, uh, I think we could do with getting the kids to bed, actually. Oh, come on, no, no. Ten minutes won't do any harm. Look, they haven't finished their pudding. Yeah. Hi, this is Sarah's phone. I can't take your call right now, but if you'd like to leave me a message, do it after the beep. Ciao. Sarah, it's me. Um, I know with the, the trial and everything, you've got better things to worry about than me. But, um, if there's anything you want to talk about, I'm here. Uh, I guess... I guess I want to help you, cos, um... Well, cos I really like you. And I can't hack the thought of us just... just calling it quits. 
So, um, yeah, when, when you're ready, just give me a call. Cheers. Bye. You've got no right to be doing this. This has got nothing to do with you. We're your family. Kylie was my family. She was everything, everything good in my life. And what about your kids? The better off without me. The way I am now, I breathe, I put one foot in front of the other, and I hurt. And that's as far as it goes. It'll get better. No, it won't. I died the day Kylie died. He killed us both. Well, that's not true. Yeah, it is. How do you know? You've got absolutely no idea what I'm going through. All that's left is the worst of me, and that's only good for one thing. So if you really cared about me, you'd open the door and you'd let me get on with it. I'm sorry, but your kids need their father. Our mum needs her son, and I need my brother. And just when I thought my day couldn't get any worse. Oh, great, yeah. Lovely to see you and all. Hey, I'll tell you what, Trace, you've done a great job with this place. So much better than when I had it. Yeah, well, that wouldn't be difficult. Trace, please, come on, let's not do this, eh? There's neither of us short of enemies round here. And I am glad to see you. Well, it's not often I hear that. Come on, then. Come on, mm. come on. See? Not so hard, was it? And I didn't even pick your pocket. Yeah, well, there wouldn't be much there if you did. Oh, so, uh, trade not so good, then, is it? Well, it's all right. I mean, the holiday in the Seychelles is going to have to wait for another year, <laughs> but I'm doing OK. Well, makes one of us. How's that, then? No, it's nothing serious. It's just a, it's a cash flow problem, you understand? Yeah, I mean, I think I can take a pretty good guess. Yeah. It's just I could do with a couple of quid just to tide me over just for a few days until I get things sorted. Hey, babe, you all right? Help! Help! Yeah, yeah. It's no surprise, it's just, uh, it's just the radio. You okay? What do you mean, twinges? Do you want me to ring a doctor? Right, hold on, you told Tracy, and how did she...? OK, so we're to... calm down, calm down, breathe. Take your breath, forget about Tracy, forget about Peter, just think about the baby, all right? OK, calm. Yeah. Yeah, 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 I'll come straight back. OK, I'll just make sure David's all right. I love you. There we are. What's happened? Doesn't matter. Doesn't sound that way. Look, I'm sorry about before, all right? You do understand what I'm going through. Remember how you felt about the bloke who stabbed your dad? When you found out it got out? I do, yeah. You wanted to get back at him, didn't you? To hurt him? I was young, I was hot-headed, I didn't have your responsibilities, and I nearly made the biggest mistake of my life. Got Leanne, bad Leanne. And how would you have felt if he had hurt her? Killed her, even. The love of your life, would you have forgiven him? No. Probably would have uh, felt the same as you do now. So why are you keeping me in here? Right, because sometimes, sometimes you're too close to something. And you need to step back, see the bigger picture, and me and your mum can. Yeah, well, that's not up to you, is it? This is my only chance to get some justice for Kylie, because I'm not going to get that from the courts. Well, you don't know that. Don't I? Or have they brought back hanging since I've been down here? Oh, look, they'll convict him, and then he'll and get... He'll get a nice cell with a telly. He'll be able to play pool with his mates. It'll be like the good old days in the dog and gun. Then when he gets out... He'll be able to start a new life, and he'll be younger than what Kylie was before he killed her. And Max and Lily get their father! And you get to see them grow up. And you get to see them have families. Now that's what Kylie would have wanted. Not to be abandoned. 
I love you and my mum. They don't need us. They need you. And you don't get it. Punishing your kids. Not clean. I better go. What? Oh, don't worry, someone will come down and check on you. There's some food and water. Just uh, try and get some rest. No, Nick! No, Nick! Nick, you can't leave me down here! you had the nerve to stick your hand out. You've only been through my door five minutes. That must be a PB, PB. Look, Tracy, do you think I would have asked you if I could have gone anywhere else? Oh, well, flattery will get you nowhere. I didn't mean it like that. Look, I had some aggro with this guy who owned a yacht that I was skippering for. Oh, so that's how you got your war wound, because I was wondering. Yeah. So, where were your hands at the time, Peter? Were they in the till? Or somewhere more fun? No, it was a clash of personalities. Oh, you seem to have a lot of them. And you don't. I'm not the one asking for money. Anyway, look, so I, I picked the wrong bloke to cross. He's got a mate in every flaming marina, so... I can't get a job down south for love nor money. And that's why you slunk back here. Was it ever thus? I'm sorry, Dad, I should have told you, I know. But you were hacked off as it was. And you thought lying might improve my humour? Ah, uh, it'll be Simon, I text Leanne. You won't tell him? No, Peter, I won't tell him. Do you know, no matter how hard I try to be the black sheep of this family, I'll never do it, cos you set the bar far too low. All right, Dad. All right, Dad. Aye, uh, that's more like it. Hey, it's good to see you. Yeah, and you. I'm sorry about last week. Can I, it's fine. No, no, it's not fine. I, I had some trouble with this guy I was working for, but I shouldn't have let you down, I'm sorry. Don't worry about it. So are you staying, Log? Oh, I've not really thought about it, to be honest. Um, I need some way to kip. Can't you stay here? Well, you could have the sofa tonight and, uh... Once I've gone, you could use my room, I suppose. Oh, cheers, Dad. I don't want to put you out, though. Oh, but you will. You'll come trotting in here with your three bags full. Same as you always do. Excuse me. Oh, what are you doing here? Why are you whispering? Michael's upstairs. All right. Did you manage to fold him off and Gran? Yeah, I think they've bought it. And I told them he'd gone to see his dad to... Take his mind off the trial. Yeah, I better go. Uh, Leanne's in the state. I'm sure it's fine. But, uh, you know, I better go check on her. We can't leave David on his own. I mean, what if there's a fire or. But I'll go over there. No, Mum, I'll go. I think Michael might miss the lump in the bed. And Bethany might miss the lump in yours. Well, you can think of something to tell her because you're a better liar than me. Listen, you two weren't even on board yesterday. That cellar is no place for doubts. So maybe we've got a rice for breakfast? Yeah, or we could have it here. Let's play it by ear, shall we? All right. See you, Grand Dodge. Enjoy your holiday. Thank you. I'll send you a postcard. A postcard? <laughs> Maybe you'll cover it in history one day. Be careful going home. See ya. See ya. Thanks, Dad. Yeah. Take him to the cafe. Oh, no, I... There's a hundred pounds there. I'll give you more, but I've only got euros. I appreciate it. I'll pay you back every penny, you know that. Just so long as it doesn't disappear over a bar. Dad, I swear to you, I've not touched the booze for over two years. I hope that's true. It's true. Right, well, I'm going to get an early night. My plane's at five, Tuck's will be here at two. I'll try not to wake you. Yeah, well, don't worry. But if I don't see you, I hope your trip turns out to be all you want it to be. Oh, me too. 
I've crossed the Ponte Vecchio many times up here. Hopefully it'll be just as good on foot. Good night. Good night, Dad. It's me. Sarah! Where are you off to? Um, I just left something earlier in the bistro. Right, I'll come here. No, I just, I, I just want to be on my own. You all right? Yeah, I'm just, I'm really tired. I just want to go home and get in bed. Get my message? No. Well, I was just calling to say that I'm here. Gary, I've just got... So much on my mind right now, I just can't do this. Sorry. You know, if everybody made half a bit to last that long, we'd be out of business inside of a month. So I'm expecting him to whip out a duvet. Yeah, um, listen. Uh, now they've gone, I really need to talk to you about something. It's about Leanne. Right. She must have been the one who told Tracy about Jim because I told her. Well, you told her. Yeah, and I know I shouldn't have. I, I just, I needed someone to confide in. I'm so sorry. No, look, it's fine. No, I, I understand. Do you? Well, that makes me feel worse. It deserves to be betrayed, Steve. Well, it's Leanne that's done the betraying, not you. You were just trying to tell a friend you thought you could trust. Yeah, exactly. Friend say, cook. No, oh, she's no friend of mine. Not anymore. In fact, the next time I see her, I'm going to tell uh, her. No, no, be because um, she probably thought she was just trying to help, you know. Well, that's neither here nor there, is it? She had no right to take matters into her own hands. No right at all, and I'm going to tell her. Sleep. You're joking. Hey, that we're doing this. I just we couldn't think of any alternative. We or the other two. It's the only way. No, you think I've got a right to make Clayton pay for what he's done to Kyla? It's not for me to decide. The law's the law. And what if Kylie had that attitude? What if she never picked up that wrench that night? You'd have been raped. I know. You could have died. But she saved you and she suffered for it. God did she suffer. So don't you think the least you owe is the scrap of justice? It's not that straightforward. It is. It really is, Sarah. Just listen to your heart because you know it's right. Walk to the door, turn the key. Let me out and let me repay your debt to Kylie. Dad, I uh, thought your taxi wasn't until two. Yeah, I couldn't sleep. Um, seemed like I wasn't the only one. Yeah, I had to... Uh... No, don't bother. I've no desire to dance this little two-step all over again. Hey, I've not had a drink, all right? I've, I've not been anywhere near a pub. And where have you been? I, I went to uh, meet someone about a job, you know. Oh, so you were at an interview till gone one o'clock in the morning? Or was it an all-night job centre? If you're not even going to listen. Oh, well, I'll listen when there's something worth hearing. You know, Peter, you disappoint me. One of the very few things you ever showed an aptitude for was deceit. Don't tell me you've lost that as well. Dad, please, I'm not lying. I went to see a fellow about no, just, a job just in... Stop it, stop I... it, stop it. It's painful. You lied to me earlier and you're lying to me now. I want the truth, otherwise you can take your things and go. Look, I know Mum and Nick mean well, Sarah, but they don't know Kylie like we did. Two young kids left without a mum. I can't let them get away with it. You're right, David. 
it's been a nightmare, but killing somebody else isn't going to end it. Yeah, yeah, it will. It'll finish things once and for all. No, it won't. Just more of the same for everyone for years. Lily, Max, they feel that for the rest of their lives. No, David, I'm not going to let you do it. Sorry. Let's try and get some sleep, eh? I met a man in a bar about some work on a chartered boat. He said he never went near a pub. Not for a drink. So where in Randolph Weatherfield is this charter boat moored? A canal? A garden pond? The bloke was in Weatherfield. The boat was in... He's no more real than the Flying Dutchman! What are you hiding, Peter? Nothing. I hoped you'd come here for Simon. How could I be so naive? You're here because you've got nowhere else to go. Because you're either drinking again or you're knee-deep in something illicit. Probably both. No. You're wrong, I'm not. But I'm never going to convince you, am I? All my life, I've just been banging my head against a brick wall ever since the first day I opened my eyes. Not that you were around for very long. Oh, I wonder when you'll be playing that particular record. Hey, you don't like it, do you, the sound of it? Your record. All your life, you've talked the talk, but the only walk you've ever walked is away. From your kids, marriage, responsibilities. So if I'm a letdown, Dad, I've learnt it all from you. That'll be my taxi. to come tonight. It's the penultimate episode of the series, but will they or won't they? What's next for Adam and Tina? Cold Feet is coming up. And over on ITV2, Peter's back with his own very special parenting skills. It's the start of the brand new series of Family Guy, next. Next.